Welcome to the Little Beading Closet. I'm Sherry. Thanks for joining me today to make the Old Fashioned Diva Bracelet. This one's very comfortable to wear because it sits flat on the wrist and quick and easy to make. The supplies for today's bracelet are size 15 seed beads and size 11 delicas, or you could use 11 rounds. It's either or. We're going to need some three millimeter bicones. These are the mini diamond duos. This is a full Labrador. And then I wish you were here to help me pick out the color to use for today's bracelet. It might be prismatic Phoenix, prismatic tropics, prismatic sunset, or prismatic fiesta. I love them all. I haven't decided which one. And then four size eight seed beads along with a symbol magnetic clasp. I like the way that it's flat and it keeps the bracelet nice and smooth on your wrist. We're going to begin with each component for the bracelet and then link them together at the end. I've made six components and ended up with a seven inch bracelet. If you need a longer length, you might want seven components for closer to an eight inch bracelet. I'm gonna be using wildfire today and I have 12 inches on my needle for each little segment that we'll be working on. To begin each unit, we're going to pick up our mini diamond duos from this hole here and we're going to need a total of 12. I hope you like this prismatic tropics color I decided to go with. We have a beautiful sunny day here. Yeah, I just felt that it was perfect for the weather and looked very nice with the silver that I would like to use for the connections. So we're gonna get all 12 of these mini diamond duos in size 15s on our needle. I'm going to keep going until I get all of them on. Got just a few more to go. One here. And then we'll move on to our next step. Get all 12 of these mini diamond duos. With a size 15 between each one on my needle. Now I need one more 15. And I'll pull these down to the end of my thread. We don't need any tail. So Wow, look at those. Aren't they pretty? Let's go ahead and knot this into a circle. I'm going to pull that tight and add a few knots here. Come into the diamond duo past the knot that you added pulling your thread through and we're going to step up to the outside of this circle by laying our thread on the back of the diamond duo and coming through the outer hole of the one that we just laid our thread on. So now we're here to the outside. I'm going to pick up one of the metallic mini diamond duos in this silver color and come into the next diamond duo. Now I'm going to work with my Delica beads. I like the way they look, but you could certainly use a round bead in size 11 here if you'd like. And 
and then I will be picking up one more of my diamond duos and coming into the next diamond duo. Now it'll be a series of three of the Delica beads. Two. I just have one more here. So we have a series of three Delica beads. Picking up one more of the mini diamond duos. Coming into the next mini diamond duo. One more Delica. And then our last mini diamond duo for the outside. Now we just need to add three more Delicas. There's one, two, and three. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and needle into the metallic delica or the metallic diamond duo here. Coming out of this metallic diamond duo, I want to go ahead and put some knots in here between the two diamond duos to secure everything and make a strong little segment for our bracelet. So I'll put one here, go through the next diamond duo, and I will probably just go ahead and put one between every bead that I can. That way it'll be nice and secure and have a piece that will last. So one more here, and then I can even come through this diamond duo here and add one more. Then I'll be ready to trim this off and continue making my little segments. I'm going to go with a total of six, so go ahead and work on maybe six of these, six to seven. I went ahead and made six of my units. I have out my clasp, size eight beads, some delicas, and my three millimeter bicone crystals. So now what I wanna do is secure my thread into one of these segments. I'm going to come in here, just past one of the metallic diamond duos, and the other one, and knot it onto my unit just here. Coming through my next one, I'll go ahead and just add one more knot here before we begin attaching all of our components together. So the knots are secured down here. I just need to come through a few of my beads and I'm going to work my way up to here. Won't be and continue up my side. That way I know my thread is anchored onto my segment and I'll have a nice secure start to this piece. So we're going to come all the way through one of these mini diamond duos just here and then I'm going to lay my thread on the back of it and needle through the outer hole of it. This is where you'll pick up your three millimeter bicone 
and come into another unit. Pulling these together, you can see how they'll sit. Again, I need my thread to lay on the back side of this diamond duo. So I'm just going to come behind it, pulling my thread behind it and into the diamond duo. And then pulling it all tight. So that's what you'll do for each segment. We'll come up here to this next diamond duo sticking out and I'll walk you through the process of attaching a segment one more time. And then we'll move on to the clasp. So let's come up here. Coming out of the diamond duo that sticks out, this one's metallic, laying my thread on the back of it. Come into the outer hole of it. Pick up one more three millimeter bicone. We'll need one more of our segments. So we'll come through the outer hole of the diamond duo. Pull it down. Again, I want the thread to lay on the back side. So I'm going to come underneath it with my needle and thread and needle into the hole here. I've come through a few beads at one time. And I'm going to work my way around this edge, adding all my segments. I've attached one side of my segments together, and now I'm ready to add the clasp. So coming out of my diamond duo here, again, I want to lay my thread on the back of it and come through this outer hole. I'm going to pick up one size eight and my symbol clasp, pulling it to my work. I'm going to pick up five delicas, one, two, three, four, five, and they'll sit right here in between the two prongs of my clasp. So now I will be picking up one more size eight and coming through this hole of the diamond duo. Now I would like to bring my thread underneath the diamond duo and pull everything tight. And then I'm going to needle around, retracing my thread path of the clasp one or two times. So it's a nice and secure fit. After I Make sure my clasp has had a few passes of thread. I will then go ahead and attach the other side following the same steps. I attached the other side of all my components together. And now I'm ready to finish by just attaching the other end of my clasp. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's been such a pleasure for me to be able to show you these tutorials and I hope that you've been able to make something or have plans to in the near future. Until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day and enjoy your beading projects.